Good morning, lovely people. I thought that I would bring a video to you. This one was done back in June, so I'm a little behind on catching up on my videos. So you may have seen the layout, but not the video for it yet. And uh, wanted to make sure I got this up before I put up my Saturday stash dive this Saturday. Um, this one, I'm using the Best Day of Your Life kit from Scraptastic plus the add-on. And I will, um, oh, sorry, my daughter was texting me. <laughs> um, I will add a few embellishments as well. So, um, let's see. I had some scrap pieces of paper left over, so I'm using those, and I used the Echo Park Capture Life uh, Capture Today as that um, arrow background that I had cut out, and um, the hot pink that you saw there was just a scrap I had in my uh, stash from the Highline Collection from Basic Gray, and I thought that it went very well with this and I'm just here trying to figure out if I like that black side or not and I don't really care for it so I don't use it but the pictures here are primarily pictures with my daughter London and <clears throat> she volunteers at the school well she did school's out now for the summer and she moves into high school so um, London here is it's pajama day or something at school so she's wearing this great big huge onesie and she's five foot eight so <laughs> and in eighth grade here so it's she's a it's a little funny that she's in a onesie but um, she volunteers for with the Partners PE kids. Uh, so these are children that have Down syndrome or autism or something of that nature, um, some disability that um, she, you know, finds enjoyment helping these kids and uh, spending time with them. And so, um, she also does like Heroes Camp. I don't know if you're familiar with that, but it's a similar organization. But this one is through the school. So she's in the gymnasium in this one picture with one of the other volunteers, her friend Brian, and um, then another girl there at the bottom that you see. And I can't remember her name right off, so I apologize. <laughs> But, um, yeah, London gets a lot of enjoyment out of that. Her half-sister, who is now 24, she is actually a special needs teacher. And um, then she also has an uncle and an aunt, well, a, a great uncle and a great aunt, I guess I should say, that are um, teachers. One of them was uh, an ESL English as a second language uh, teacher and volunteered for swim team and these were for uh, low-income families and then he also taught um, I believe it was math so uh, well I get he just retired so I think he still does some volunteering but um, her great-aunt Ada where she gets her height from um, she recently passed, but she went over to China voluntarily and taught children um, in some of the territories that were um, out in the country and they didn't have a very good education or, or proper uh, funding or, or means for education. <coughs> she went and spent three years in China and uh, worked with those children and taught them English and um, how to read and how to write and, and things of that nature in English. So uh, she comes from a long line of 
uh, teachers, and uh, they seem to specialize in uh, children with special needs, so in some capacity or another. So London really, really <coughs> enjoys it. She seems to have a knack for it. She did a bunch of volunteering at uh, Vacation Bible School this summer, and uh, like I said, Heroes Camp. Um, she really enjoys. So she is very special in that, and I wanted to make sure I put that, uh, you know, made a layout for her and noted some of the stuff that she gets to do in that arena. And um, this was one of her favorite students, uh, the gentleman on the top left. And uh, she really enjoyed him. He gave her a hug every day and, and always told her how pretty she was. And so uh, he was very sweet to her. So she said she's going to miss him. And, um, yeah, that's, that's kind of her, her gift. But she wants to be a lawyer or a uh, prosecutor <laughs> or a judge, something of that degree, which she definitely has the skill for that because that girl is um, quite opinionated. And, um, you know, she's got a lot of black and white going on, not a, not a lot of gray area in her opinion. So... <laughs> It's funny, with um, volunteering, she is just go with the flow, laid back, easy peasy. But with me and her sister, or if there was somebody that she thought was incorrect on a subject that she had strong opinions about, then she will let them know. So, she's unique. Let's put it that way. <laughs> but it's times like this that make me realize how very lucky I am to to have her and um, you know I think this I'm I'm gonna do some journaling on the back of this I think or tuck it away and and put that in my VIP album because you know she does teach me a lot of uh, understanding and patience and, and things that I wouldn't necessarily um, be as good at as she is let's let's say that <laughs> so um yeah i'm just adding embellishments from the kit it looks like i mainly use the kit just a couple of things from my scraps uh scraps of paper that uh oh darling i used the um cut apart there for my sweet girl and these sticker sheet and the acetate um, all from Capture Life or Heidi Swap came from the kit and uh, that was the June kit from Scraptastic and then the doily was uh, from Freckled Fawn uh, let's see enamel dots I use are from My Mind's Eye, Lost and Found 3, and I believe that came in the kit as well. And of course, I outlined everything with my Secure Pen. And um, the Versamark ink was in Bark. The Color Box ink was in Magenta. And then the Yellow ink was from my kit, and I just kind of distressed all the edges. Um, the tag that I'm putting there, I put a little twine on, a uh, little white cotton twine I use a lot. And uh, it was in the kit. It's an Ormolu cut apart. And I really enjoyed making this layout. It came together fairly quick. Um, I do like the way it turned out. And this was right before my little slump, I guess you could call it. Um... Oh, I'd forgotten I did journal there on the bottom. I think I'm going to do some more journaling now, so. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this layout. And I will be doing Saturday's Stash Dive with Kitty Scrapper. And so I'm excited about that. And I should have it up Saturday morning. So please.
Oh, sorry, my um, narration cut out. <laughs> anyway, uh, yes, I do hope you enjoy. There are still pictures at the end, and just adding a little bit uh, of final details, and there's some close-ups. So, yeah, that's that's all I got. <laughs> I will talk to you soon, and I appreciate you watching. Ta-ta for now. Bye.